Hello everybody and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you the absolute first thing you must do before using Unity and that is to well install it. So recently Unity kind of changed up the way that you uh, actually download and install their programs and it's really nice they actually have this kind of like central management software called Unity Hub and you can use that to download all kinds of different versions of Unity. So we're going to be doing that just right now. So as you can see I'm on Unity's website it's just unity.com and to get started, well, we're just going to click this nice blue button that says get started. So this will open up another page here. And this gives us kind of some information on the different versions of Unity. So there's personal, pro, and plus. Uh, personally, I use the plus version because it just gives me a couple more features that I like to have. But for most of you, you're probably going to want to start with the free version. So let's go ahead and say get started for free on the personal edition here. And then it brings us to yet another page. And from here, it may not be immediately clear where we download um, because it just kind of gives us some more information about you know, building our first game in Unity and all that. Um, so we can just go ahead and click this Start Here button um, on this New Users. So we'll click Start Here. It'll open up some terms and conditions and, of course, read through those. And just go ahead and agree to download. Um, of course, this is an exe file, so your computer might give you a little warning, so just go ahead and say keep for that. That download goes by very quickly, so we can just go ahead and launch the Unity Hub here. You know, my computer will ask you if you know, you're know you sure you want to download this. Um, let's go ahead and agree to the terms of service. Go ahead and choose an install location. So next you'll just go ahead and click install. Um, of course, I already have Unity Hub installed, so I'm kind of doing a little bit of a reinstall here but it's gonna be the exact same process for you. Uh, once it's completed, it'll just say run Unity Hub. So you say finish. And I mean, the install process for Unity Hub is pretty quick. Uh, that's, it's, a, it's a pretty lightweight application. Um, so next, it's just gonna give you kind of like a security alert here. Um, and you can just go ahead and allow access for private networks. That is uh, totally fine. And then now we're in Unity Hub here. And let me just give you a quick little tour of Unity Hub. So this projects tab, this is where um, all your projects are going to be listed. If you're just starting out, you're not going to have any projects. If you click on this drop down next to new, it shows you all the Unity versions you have installed and you can create a a new project in a specified Unity version. So if you want to say go into the, the latest version that I have installed, it'll open up here and then you can kind of configure some of the defaults if you want it to be a, a 2 day game or a 3D game or if you want to add in um, some of the different extras here. And then this is where you're going to configure your, you know, your project name and then put in the location of uh, D Unity projects or wherever you'd like to put it. Of course, if you have any projects from a previous version of Unity and they're not showing up here, you can click this add button and it'll open up uh, a little file explorer and you can actually kind of browse for that project folder. I've had to do that a couple times with a few of my projects. Um, now moving down the list, the next tab we have here is the Learn tab, and this is a really nice resource. There's a lot of things that it can show us how to do in Unity, just gives us nice little tutorials. Um, we can click on them, we can actually download the project or view the tutorials here. Um, so it's really nice to have. And so outside of these tutorials, I'm actually working on a really cool tutorial right now. It's going to be a much longer form one. We're going to be showing you how to make basically a top-down twin stick shooter version of the game Doom. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm working on it right now. It should be ready within the next few weeks. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. But the tutorial is going to be really nice for beginners especially. Anyways, moving on, we can go to the installs, and this is where we actually install versions of the Unity engine. Uh, so you'll see that I actually have four different versions of the engine here. Now we can add new installs in two different ways. So there's locate and add. Locate is going to be if you have previous versions of Unity already installed and you want to keep managing them. Uh, so that's what I did for this Unity 28.3. So basically you just hit the locate tab and then you go to your actual install directory and then you can kind of manage the install through here and you can create new projects on that older version of Unity. So it's pretty nice that they've integrated this with older versions of Unity as well. Um, now the more common thing to do is going to be to click add here. And so I'm just going to kind of quickly explain what the different versions are. So if you see like this, there's this Unity 2019.2.3 F1. 
So the F version, that means it's a full release version. And also through here, you can actually download beta versions. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see there's a 2019.3.0B1, and in parentheses, there's a beta. So this is going to be actually a newer version with more features than this 2019.2 version. Um, but because it is in beta, you know, it technically might be unstable. There might be some bugs in there. So I would recommend staying away from the beta versions unless the beta versions offer a feature that you really want to experiment with. And the other thing you'll notice is these ones that say LTS, and that stands for long-term support. Basically what that means is um, it's the, the last version of each year. So you see it's the 2018.4 as well as the 2017.4. These are both the long-term support versions. Now these long-term support versions, basically they're um, going to continue supporting them for two years after the initial release of that version. So you'll be able to get new patches and bug fixes. However, you won't have access uh, to some of the newer features that are available in the newer versions of Unity. So no, no new APIs, basically all just bug fixes. So the LTS version is really going to be the preferred version because that's pretty much set in stone, solid, not a whole lot's gonna be changing except for minor little bug fixes. Um, so if you are working on a game project that is kind of a serious game project, I'd highly recommend looking into maybe downloading one of the LTS versions. But anyways, I'm just gonna show you what the actual install looks like. So I'll select this one because this is the one I want. Um, once we click next, we can add some of the different plugins here. So if we want Android build support, uh, you can click on this. If you don't have the Android SDK and NDK and JDK and all those DK development kits, you can actually download these right through Unity, which is really nice to have. I already have them uh, downloaded separately, so I don't need to do that. Um, and then really here, you're just kind of clicking on which platforms you want to build for. Um, and then it shows you how much space is going to be required for each of these on the side. Um, you can also download the documentation which is something that's kind of always nice to have. And if you want any different language packs, you can select that there. So we'll just go ahead and click done. And then of course it'll ask me if I'm sure that I want to do this and I think I am. So anyways, you'll see that the new install pops up here and it's gonna start downloading, installing. Um, this process will take some time, so we'll just let it do its thing. All right, so now the download process has completed and it's just going through the install process right now. Again, this is a pretty autonomous process. You don't really need to do anything. You can kind of just like let it sit in the background and let it do its thing. All right, and just like that, the Unity install has completed for the Unity version 2019.2.3F1. So that is the latest version at the time of recording this. Uh, as you can see, it has all the different build supports that we selected. Um, now, I mean, this is way too many versions of Unity for me to have. I actually don't have any projects on this version. Uh, so I can just hit the dot, dot, dots here. And all you do, just click the uninstall and it just goes through a little uninstall process. So I'll go ahead and do this for this one. Not surprisingly, the uninstall process is much shorter than the install process. Uh, maybe it just takes like 20, 30 seconds to completely uninstall. And so just like that, I have all my Unity versions cleaned up. So this is looking a lot cleaner. Now I can start making some cool things in Unity. Um, if you wanna get inspired and kinda learn how to do some cool things in Unity, make sure you check out the other videos on my channel, um, especially the one that I'm gonna be putting out in just a couple weeks where I'm gonna be doing that whole top-down uh, twin stick shooter version of Doom. It's gonna be a really cool project and I think it's gonna be real nice, especially for you beginners to get into some kinda cool stuff in Unity. So anyways, if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a like. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all my other cool Unity tutorial videos. Of course, if you have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.